what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to talk about the upcoming i know what you did last summer legacy sequel in this video here today i promise this was not planned this is all ironic because considering today is the fourth of july this all just is very coincidental i did not plan this something was sent to me and i'm going to discuss it with you guys in this video since everything has been very quiet and tight-lipped regarding this project and the upcoming film that we know is going to drop in 2025 i will say going forward just for the sake of this video staying up that this is all rumored not confirmed by anyone officially involved with the project but we know that back in may we found out from the hollywood reporter and other reputable outlets and trades that i know what you did last summer is coming to theaters next july just for a recap on what we know from this Hollywood Reporter report that we got back in May, Jennifer Caitlin Robinson is directing the sequel from a screenplay she co-wrote with Sam Lansky after an initial script from Leigh McKendrick or Leah McKendrick. Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince are expected to return, but no official announcement has been made despite Hewitt indicating she's returning in the past while I, without saying she's actually back or not. She did talk about how she has some fear about coming back to the role, I think. We don't know anything specific about the characters or plot officially yet however that could change after this video we have been teased about what to expect in the past lee mckendrick made this comment to collider she said at its core i think it really reckons with some big ideas about hero and villain right and wrong how your skeletons come back to haunt you and in the age of the internet and the age where fame is such a revered concept the creation of TikTok and social media who is julie james in a world where there are no secrets anymore now, at the time of that report, it became clear why Julie returning was so crucial for the story to work. So hopefully the execution makes the return worth it. I wanted to spend this video discussing rumored plot elements that I'm sure will be confirmed at some point because of the source of this information. I'll share some character names, how the 97 film ties into this upcoming movie at the moment and what the new characters are dealing with. So allegedly and just rumored, the story is set 30 years later. And the event between Ben Willis, Julie, Helen, Barry, and Ray has become a local legend cautionary tale in the town of Southport. We have a group of friends who I don't believe are in high school. Perhaps they are in their senior year of college, though I'll get back to why I think that. Our characters include Ava, Milo, both who used to date but could possibly get him back together. Then there's Jacob and another person in this friend group as well. Jacob and this other person seem to be getting married and our tragic event will take place on the night of their engagement party, seemingly. These friends, as expected, in true I Know What You Did Last Summer fashion, killed someone and then the story jumps a year later. Ava is coping with whatever happened that night by being a thought, if you will. And Milo thinks she needs help because he doesn't want to date her again if she's going to be like this. Milo also apparently is obsessed with this climate influ climate influencer from Georgetown. So I'm sure if Ava can't get her act right, he's going to go to this unnamed influencer that I'm certain we'll meet during the movie. Now, if I were to guess, Ava is going to be our Julie 2.0. And of course, it's possible these are just placeholder names. But Ava is what we have to work with right now. And she gives me Julie James 2.0 vibes. I can see the film having her seek out Julie, who possibly then agrees to help her out and confesses to Ava that 30 years ago they did lie to the cops about Ben Willis, yada, yada, yada. And like I mentioned earlier, if we have an engagement party happening, our friend group must be seniors in college or at least out of high school at the very least. Here's my bold prediction on what I could see happening just from Ava's story if Ava is indeed our central character. Ava probably slept with someone to cope, again, because it seems like that's how she's coping with whatever happened. She did this while drunk, dated this person for a while after that brief encounter they had, and then during that brief stint of being together, found out she was pregnant with the dude's kid and decided to abort and broke up with the boy that she had a small fling with. Again, that's just me making a prediction based off of the fact that it seems that Ava is out there in those streets. He didn't take kindly to this and started stalking her learns that she killed someone a year earlier and wants to use that as a revenge angle for her aborting his child to make matters more interesting this boy could possibly could possibly be julian ray's son just throwing that out there just trying to make it as juicy as i can and again this last bit is just me predicting i'm just trying to come up with something that i could see myself loving based off of what is alleged about ava and her mentality after what happened at that engagement party between Jacob and whatever that other character's name is. If Ava has been coping 
the way that she has by sleeping around maybe she slept around with one person that she's going to end up regretting because the suspect list that they all inspect probably will not include this person that she had that brief stint with and we probably could you could spend the whole movie not even talking about the fact that she aborted a kid you could spend the movie hyping up these other people we're meeting there could be some brief tension between this this Ava character and this boy I'm thinking of she could have potentially slept with and then that could be the big twist at the end that she had an abortion the person she had an abortion or or the person who was going to be the father to the child did not like that she had an abortion started stalking her discovered that she killed someone a year earlier with her friends donned the fisherman costume because his own parents went through something similar 30 years ago and he's using this as a revenge tactic on Ava for aborting his child. That is just a theory of mine as it pertains to what could be going on in I Know What You Did Last Summer and how I could see it working. I will say that as of now, it does seem to be your basic formulaic legacy sequel template. As of now, without knowing how Julie actually is going to be used, I can't say I'm too excited about Julie's story just yet. As of now, I am just excited to see if Jennifer Love Hewitt can give another amazing performance as the character all these years later. I need to learn a little bit more about what exactly is going on, because for right now, I still go back to the mindset that so far, it's seemingly being proven to me that whatever Mike Flanagan was cooking up was going to be way better than what we might get. That doesn't mean that it won't be a good movie. It still could be something very good. But as of now and what we know, it just just it does sound very formulaic. Doesn't sound like for me anything I should be overly excited about. But I hope you guys enjoyed hearing these details about what you could expect for the upcoming. I know what you did last summer. Third film. It also doesn't seem to indicate if I still know what you did last summer is canon or not. But like I said, I don't see why the film wouldn't be kept canon. At this point, Ben Willis is dead. And I mean, as long as you're acknowledging Ben Willis is dead. And if, if you acknowledge where he died at, saying he died at some type of resort, that's enough. Some bits of dialogue, if even only a brief bit of dialogue, would be enough to satisfy the people who want I Still Know What You Did Last Summer to be canon. I don't see why it should be left out. Even though it was inferior, it wasn't that inferior that it should be left out. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.